Hello, I'm Christoph Conrad. In this video, we'll take a look at the basic anatomy of a lightning web component. We'll use the recipes sample application, which is part of the sample gallery. And it is a collection of targeted uh, code examples, 30 lines of code or less. So let's take a look at a first recipe called hello. All it does is display a greeting message, hello world. It's very simple, but it's a great place to start to see how we're using web standards in Lightning Web Components. So let's take a look at the code. A Lightning Web Component has three main files, a metadata file, a JavaScript file, and an HTML file. The metadata file provides information about the component. So for example, if you want to use the component in App Builder, you set is exposed to true, and then you can specify on what type of page it can be used. For example, in this case, application pages, flexi pages, uh, record pages, and home pages. Now let's take a look at the JavaScript file. Lightning Web Components use ECMAScript modules that we import here using the standard ECMAScript syntax. We are also using ECMAScript classes, in this case, hello, and a class can have properties like here greeting that we initialize to world. Now let's take a look at the template. Here we are using the standard template tag, which is part of the custom element specification. So again, everything is standard. And then to bind a property to HTML, you simply use the double curly syntax. Now, if you're currently using a Lightning Components with Aura, the good news is that all the base components, for example, Lightning Card here, are exactly the same. Now, there is one more thing that I wanted to show you about this recipe. And for that, let's go back to the browser. And we'll inspect the DOM here. Now, usually you define well encapsulated components at development time and then at runtime in the DOM, it's just a bunch of HTML tags. Well, not anymore, because when you define a Lightning Web Component, you are actually defining a custom element, which again is a web standard like c-hello here. Now let's close this and look at a slightly more sophisticated component, hello binding. So here you still have a greeting message, but you have an input field where you can actually change the message. And as you change it here, you notice that the greeting message changes as well. So let's look at the code for this recipe. Notice that we annotated the property with the track decorator, and that's gonna make the property reactive, which means that when the value of greeting changes, the view will update automatically. And when the user changes the value in the input field, we defined an event handler here that's just gonna reset the value of the greeting property. Now let's look at the template. And here you notice that we didn't change anything to the greeting binding. We just made the property reactive. Again, when the value changes, the view is gonna be updated automatically. And the only thing we changed was to add that input field, again, using a base lightning component with an event handler that called handle change that we looked at before. To summarize, a lightning web component has three main files, a metadata file, a JavaScript file, and a template file. Lightning web components use ECMAScript standards like modules and classes. They also use W3C standards like custom elements and templates. You use the add track decorator to make a property reactive. And you can leverage the base lightning components, a library of over 70 UI components that are metadata aware. You can learn more about lightning web components by completing this trail mix. Thank you for listening.